Let's begin with a punchy kick and a short clap. Then we're gonna add some percussion sounds and make a nice rhythm. If we wanna make a good stamped records drop, it's very important to create a groovy rhythm. We're also gonna add a hi-hat and a distorted ride. Now guys we're gonna add some hard bass house stabs to bring some power to the drop. If we make a very powerful drum pattern, it'll be very easy to make a good bass line and lead on top. Now lastly I also added a bass shot sample. This is what we have so far guys. Now my friends let's make a really hard bass line on top of the drums and effects. I found a nice bass house preset in Serum and made this bass line that fits with the rhythm of the drums. I just used this one Serum bass preset from my sample pack. And I think it has a quite nice sound on its own, so I didn't add any more layers. But I did add a few mixing effects though, to make the bass slap harder. I began by adding some compression using OTT. After that I added an EQ removing some ugly frequencies that were created by the OTT. Then a sound goodizer on mode A to make the bass bigger. Another EQ to shape the sound to what we want. Some distortion with fruity fastest. And a final EQ to make the bass a bit more clean. This my friends is what the bass sounded like before the mixing. And this is after. And this is what we have so far guys. I think it is starting to sound cool, but we definitely need a really big and distorted lead on top to tie everything together. So let's create exactly that. I began with this lead preset in Serum and made this lead melody. Then I added two more lead layers to make the lead fatter. Now guys we're gonna add a reverb on the lead with a bit shorter decay time than normal. So instead of sounding like the lead is being played in a stadium, this reverb sounds more like a medium sized room. We're also gonna add a reverb automation like this to control the reverb. As you can see, the reverb automation goes up on most of the notes in the lead. But I stopped the reverb just a little bit before the next note hits, and I did this throughout the whole lead. Stopping the reverb a bit before new notes in the melody will make the lead sound a lot more snappy and controlled. Now let's add some mixing effects to make the lead a lot more powerful. I began with an EQ removing the low end, then some compression with OTT, and after that I added even more compression using Camel Crusher, and then I added a good amount of distortion with Fruity Fastest, and a final EQ to make the lead more clean, and lastly I added a Fruity Stereo Shaper with these settings to make the lead very wide in the mix. This my friends was the lead before we did the mixing. And this is after. Now guys and gals, before I show you the final result, I would truly appreciate it if you checked out my EDM sample pack. Link is in the description. If you get the pack, you'll get 6 FLPs, 280 samples, and 150 serum presets. All made for future house, bass house, slap house, and deep house. Here's a sneak peek of two of the FLPs from the pack.